everyone for today's video is I'm going to show you how to operate the freshwater generator. So on this scenario, we also have limited access on our various systems and we have here our freshwater generator. So here on the freshwater generator, you can see our main unit and we also have here our ejector pump which supplies seawater going to our freshwater generator. We also have here our adductor which creates the vacuum and as we all know if we have uh, less pressure inside in our freshwater generator then the faster we can uh, boil or create a distillate water. So we also have here our freshwater generator unit which is mainly composed of the evaporator side and the condenser side. So here on the evaporator side this is where the seawater is being boiled and it turns to vapor and then it will be cooled down here on our condenser and in the condenser section this is where the distillate will be formed and it will be suctioned by our distillate pump and if we have a high salinity then it will be dumped going to our seawater and if it's not if we have a low salinity so within normal range then it will be going to our freshwater tank so this is our uh, HT water which is going to our freshwater generator and uh, this will boil the seawater which is being fed by our uh, ejector pump and this is the seawater which is coming from our main seawater system which will be fed going to our condenser section which will cool down the vapor so okay so to start the simulation i need to press shift f1 you only, you only have, 20 have 20 minutes to fulfill the assessment so we only have 20 minutes so first things first i need to open the suction and discharge valves of the ejector pump and make sure that the breaker for this one is in on position Let's go back on the freshwater generator page and we can now start our ejector pump. So by the way, make sure that your uh, vacuum valve is closed and you should also notice that the pressure is reducing. So as we all know, the lesser the pressure, then the lesser is the boiling point of water will be. Okay. So make sure that the drain valve is also closed. And on the seawater system, we need to make sure that this valve is open. So this is the seawater going to our condenser side. Gradually open the seawater valve. Okay, now it's fully open and what we are going to do next is to wait until this pressure on our freshwater generator will reach to 0 0.1 bar. A few moments later. Oh, we have already reached 0 0.10 bar. So we can now easy easy open this outlet and inlet valve of our HD water going to our evaporator. So open outlet open inlet and then we're going to gradually adjust this uh, manual bypass valve of our HD so slowly slowly 80 should maintain around 79 degrees Celsius and we need to make sure that the uh, pressure here will not uh, exceed too much so afterwards I need to switch on the vacuum controller and manually open this uh, dumping valve and start the distillate pump
very similar. Let me just acknowledge. I need to switch off the distillate pump. So what happened here is that we have a high salinity. So which means that our water, distillate water coming from our condenser is slightly uh, salty. So what we are going to do now is that we need to turn off our fresh water generator and put it on standby and then rectify which is the uh, leakage of our condenser plates. Okay, so I need to close this uh, manual damping valve and turn off the vacuum controller open the manual bypass valve gradually and then close the inlet and outlet valves of our HT going to our evaporator Close this uh, valve going to our condenser and we need to turn off our ejector pump. And then afterwards we need to go here on the malfunction page and we need to click reset on our freshwater generator seawater leakage on our condenser side. Okay, so in reality we have already changed the gaskets of this one. We have opened the freshwater generator and changed the gasket. So, on this scenario, we will need to just click reset. Okay, it's closed afterwards. And then we need to uh, put again our freshwater generator on service. So, we need to follow the same procedures a while ago. Then, gradually open. the alarm press shift f12 to silent okay afterwards open the outlet and inlet valves of our HT and slowly slowly uh, close this uh, bypass valve okay so now is we're going to switch on the vacuum controller Manually open this solenoid valve for the damping. Turn the distillate on. And we should observe that this uh, salinity should decrease. And by the way, the alarm set point for the salinity is around 15 ppm. So now it is already below 15 ppm. We can now put the salinity controller in automatic. 
So when we switch the salinity controller in automatic, this means that once the, uh, the salinity of our distillate water is already below 15 ppm, then it will be redirected to our distillate tank. And if it is higher than 15 ppm, then this valve will close and then this valve will open which will dump the salty water or high ppm water uh, mixed on our seawater line. So as what you can see now it's open so the distillate water which is coming from our condenser will be pumped going to our fresh water tank. I think that's it. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. Ciao.